I'm here to answer the most debated question in terms of college living, and that is, should you be roommates with your best friend? Now, I know during your college years, some of you guys may have to relocate and live off campus or on campus. Now, I'm sure this thought has probably come to mind. Should I live with my friend, right? Should I live with a friend that I've made or should I just live with someone completely random? I kind of just want to bounce off ideas on why you should live with your friends and why you shouldn't live with your friends. And it's up to you to decide on what kind of friend that you have. So here are the three pros of living with your friends and depending who they are. The first one is that you have increased companionship. Living with your friend means that you probably have someone to always talk to right at the end of the day or most of the time at least that is if they're sleeping there a lot of the times and you have somebody to kind of just hang out with grab some food with and just share some experiences whenever you're feeling lonely and again it's kind of nice if you do this with a friend because you already know who they are and you already have a good idea of the things they like the food they like the activities they like you never know because if you get someone random you guys might not have the similar interests or they might not even be there most of the time or whatever but if you pick a friend you probably you know their schedule and what they like to do number two living with a good friend means that you could share responsibilities and bills again living together with a roommate or a friend could really save you a lot of money especially if it's a friend that you trust and you know will pay the bills and split the groceries split the bills with you not only that but you can also split responsibility again this is when you want to reflect whether your friend is very responsible or not because then you want to split up the chores like doing dishes doing the laundry you know cleaning up and dusting around the place right but if you have a really good friend who takes care of their stuff and is very very clean then you guys could easily make it work out in terms of sharing responsibilities and paying the bills it'll definitely make your living less stressful rather than you living alone or living with somebody you don't really know and number three is really the opportunity to just kind of strengthen and deepen your friendship with this person obviously you may think you know your friend at a really really good level but when you live together with them you really get to know them at a deeper level because you get to kind of see them like i guess 24 7 right you're gonna learn more about this person's habits you're gonna learn more about this person's beliefs and you're gonna learn more about this person's values and also their communication styles now this could really help you understand each other and accept each other better as friends and on top of that to get even on a deeper level you guys can now share experiences in that dorm or in that apartment or whatever shared space that you guys have and just kind of share and make more memories and experiences together that you guys can always look back on when you guys are all older together now here are a couple of cons that you guys might need to think about in terms of living with a friend. Number one is the lack of privacy. Living with someone, especially a close friend, it's gonna be kind of hard to get your own personal space. Obviously living with them, you guys have to come up to a compromise now in terms of like noise level, in terms of privacy time, you know, if they have boyfriend, girlfriends, right? You guys kind of have to work that out. Now this is where it gets kind of iffy when you're doing it with a friend, because you never know if your best friend might end up taking it the wrong way that if you ever want some personal space or anything like that, you could have increased conflicts with this person. Now obviously living together is great with your friend, but you never know that there could be some problems that arises and you may not have time to solve it or your friend may not have time to solve it. And there could be a little conflict that eventually could just grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Again, like I mentioned earlier, the fact that you get to see this person's habits and values, you may be surprised that it somehow doesn't align with yours. Maybe you're a little bit cleaner or organized than this person and you're not appreciating how they're leaving a mess. Maybe you don't like it when they do certain things in the room and you know, they still continue to do it. No matter what it is, even though he or she is your friend, that person could just be, you know, in the habit of doing something that's hard for them to break. And you may find difficulties in terms of separating personal issues and household issues, especially if it's with your friend. So without proper communication and without problem solving skills, things may just not resolve and end up really, really bad, right? And last but not least, this is where it comes to the downfall, which is going to be the risk of your friendship. You've been friends with this person for a really, really long time. And now that you've lived together with this person, you can actually risk that friendship of yours that you've built for a while. Living together could really put on a pressure, especially on a friendship, because now you have something at stake instead of actually living with someone random that you wouldn't mind, you know, just not seeing after you've lived with them, right? Living with your best friend, especially means that you'll be able to see them in their best and their worst moments. And this could be really, really difficult to handle because sometimes maybe your best friend copes with sadness a different way, right? When they're back at home. But now that you're living with them, you're kind of seeing a side of them that you haven't seen before. And it may come to a surprise to you. And it even may alter your perspective of your friendship with this person. If you're not able to communicate effectively with your friend, then it could actually lean towards hostility towards one another. So again, I think it is very, very important to understand the potential risks that you have 
in terms of rooming with a friend. I know from my own personal experience, I did not room with any friends, but actually made friends with my roommates. Because in my opinion, I think it's good for me to become roommates first and then friends. But some people do prefer to you know, room with friends and some of it may work out and some of it doesn't work out. It's just up to you to gauge your friend's level of compatibility in terms of living with you. Do they seem like they have the same living style that you have right now? And if the answer is yes and you have a good gut feeling, I would say go for it. But again, do understand that the risk is there in terms of losing your friendship or just having things come out a little differently after you guys all live together. Now, with that being said, I hope this video is helpful to you in terms of picking your roommate. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit a like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I will catch you guys all in the next video.